guys welcome to today's video today's video is going to be fun it is just a unboxing i have received a few packages over the last week of homeschool related items and so i thought it would be fun to open them up kind of explain either what they are all the stuff about them and tell you about some upcoming videos that i have so if you love unboxing homeschool curriculum you're gonna really like this video i have five packages that we're going to be opening the first one this is actually um from another homeschooling parent um i buy or at least try to buy a lot of homeschool curriculum used either from facebook marketplace ebay friends whoever so this is somebody that i bought so I'm moving beyond the page units from. So I still need to get a couple moving beyond the page units from the eight to 10 age level. And so I've been shopping around, trying to find the ones that I'm missing. And so this person I found was selling three of the units I needed. Um, early explorers, works, tools, and simple machines, and the power of people. So two social studies and one science unit. I wanna say I paid, I think, ten dollars per unit buying them used where retail they are um, now twenty dollars per unit so this is a really good deal saved over 50 percent and they are in great condition no writing nothing i think i have another package from buying used curriculum yeah so this is the apologias exploring creation with chemistry and physics if you watched my video talking about choosing a science curriculum one of the science curriculums i'm considering was using either apologia in general or guest hollows action and reactions which uses apologias this textbook as the spine i got this for like i don't know 10 to 15 dollars which is an amazing deal I am the type of person like I need to see it and so I needed to see like what is in this textbook how is it laid out um, before I made a decision so that is another reason I like to buy used is I'm not spending a ton of money if we end up not using it or whatever the case may be next item is more of like fun for homeschool moms this is from wolf paw designs I get most of my homeschooling shirts you see me wearing from this store. Like the one I'm wearing right now, it says home educator. I got this one, it says homeschool librarian. I actually have this shirt already. It's in like a white color and it's a bigger size. So I like that one for like hanging around the house. But I did want like a smaller shirt and in gray to like wear out. So I got another shirt from them. Something super exciting. If you like the shirts I wear, you want some homeschool mom related t-shirts. Um, Wolfpaw Designs did give me a, a specific discount code I can share with all of you. So there is the link to the store down below and you're going to use my discount code, which is down below, or I'm gonna put it in this video right here. Um, that will give you 15% off your order. So if you like the shirts I wear, if you want some homeschool shirts, they're all amazing quality. They're all so comfortable. I wear them all the time. Make sure you check out Wolf Paw Designs. This isn't really a package, but this came in the mail. So this is the time, this is curriculum season. So if you sign up for any homeschool related catalogs, they are starting to get mailed. So this catalog is from Classical Academic Press. This is their 2024 curriculum catalog. I have used their Song School Spanish and we really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to kind of flip through and, you know, get curriculum crazy. What else is there to do? All right, my next order came from Barnes & Noble Press. So if you aren't familiar, Barnes & Noble Press is obviously a subsidiary of Barnes & Noble where you can print books. Now, most of the people using the system are probably authors printing their books, but there is a personal option where you can just print out books for personal use. I saw this a long time ago. I wanna say it was Jamie on Simply Living It's her YouTube channel. She used the service to print her gather round curriculum books. Um, I will be very honest, the process is not simple. The uploading takes forever. You have to format your files correctly. You have to make covers correctly. And it just, their website is slow, it crashes. It's not an easy experience by any means. So I did try it out like six months ago and I just got frustrated. It just didn't seem worth it. But recently, Guest Hollow released a new uh, America's US history, America, US American history course. And with that course, they actually wrote an entire 
spine book that's over 400 pages. I did not want to print that at home. I didn't want to use it digitally. And so I saw someone say, you should use Barnes Noble Press. So I was like, all right, I will try it for this because I, I need my hands on it. I need to see it. So I ordered a couple different things from Barnes and Noble Press. So again, I purchased the digital curriculum from Guest Hollow and then I have the files. So you can only do this like if you own the files and you're only using it for your personal use. So that will be my first spiel. You can't do this and sell it. That's illegal. So what I had done first like six months ago was I actually had done this with their uh, Beowulf grammar. So when you purchase their grammar, you either get, well, you get the full file where it's the entire grammar workbook in one file or they break it into quarters. So I actually printed the third and fourth quarter. Well, they're backwards, but third and fourth quarter. It basically takes all of those and like turns it into a workbook. Now I got the paperback. You can choose hardback, paperback. You can choose different quality. Um, I think this is matte cover that you can print on the spine, which mine is off centered a little bit, but. Um, so I could basically hand this to my kid instead of me printing it, instead of them losing pages, they can just have these cute little workbooks. So those are the first two things that I tried. And then I obviously got their history book printed. Now, when Guest Hollow originally sent this, they sent it as one large file. I could not get that one large file to upload into Barnes and Noble. It didn't say it, it like exceeded the size, it just wouldn't load. So I was getting frustrated. So what I started doing, because they also send it in like five individual files, I started doing each file individually. So this was file one, file two, and by the time I was done with file two, I was like, there has to be a way I can combine this. So I found like a free PDF combiner website. So I took files three through five and combined them, which this is probably like 200 pages, if I had to guess, a little bit over 200 pages. And so this is files three through five. So all of these together are the one 400 page book. It's just, I didn't have the patience or time to keep playing around with the website because after it crashed five times, I was just like, what's the easiest way to get this printed? Um, these ones I also did paperback, but I did like the shiny cover. So it's like a little bit smoother. I, I do like the shiny cover better. The print looks awesome. I just did the standard color. I think there's like an advanced color one, but I didn't really care that much. But basically it makes that, you know, from the digital file into a workbook that, well, it's not a workbook. This is more of like a reading book for the curriculum. Um, so that is what I did. If you guys would like me to create a video showing Barnes & Noble Press, I will make one. Um, for all five of these to be printed and shipped, I want to say it was $47. These two books were around $7 each. These two smaller books were five to six dollars each and this big one was twelve dollars and it was seven dollars to ship all of them. So the cost isn't bad to be honest um, but I don't know if the effort of uploading and just the time it takes to like get from screen to screen and then once you even get everything uploaded Barnes and Noble Press still has to approve it. So then you're still waiting a couple days and then the shipping does take a little while so with all of that I don't think that it's that good of a deal I think you get the similar pricing from using like a homeschool printing company like um, Watson Family Press and then they kind of you wouldn't have to go through all of that you just email them the file and they print it and it's beautiful and it's nice so I could make a video and show you if it's something you're interested in make sure you leave that down below in the comments um, but yeah it was it was an okay experience I do like the workbooks all right last box and this box is absolutely huge and heavy this is from the critical thinking co so i'm going to be partnering with the critical thinking co i have a couple videos specifically on their curriculum coming out the first video coming out is going to be specifically on word roots so this is the company that makes word roots we have been using word roots in our homeschool for the past two years so i'm going to be doing a very in-depth review on word roots specifically they sent me an extra copy of the beginners level and i'm actually going to be giving this away in that video so if you're interested in learning more about word roots 
why I use it in our homeschool, why I love it, um, you're going to want to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the word root specific video. Now that is all I've ever used from the Critical Thinking Co. So when they reached out, I was like, yeah, I would love to share more information, um, you know, in your products. So they sent me a bunch of other things. I can't even lift them all. Their books are huge. Um, so I'm going to quickly show you, read the titles, but I've never used any of these. So what I'm going to do is over the next couple weeks, I'm going to kind of flip through these, maybe, you know, make some copies so my kids can like practice so I can get like a good idea. And then I'll do a review on all of these more of like, not a review, but like a first look, my initial thoughts. So you guys can see all of these. So this first one they sent me is mind benders level one grades pre K K. Um, building thinking skills level two grades four through six. This is thinking skills for reading, writing, math, science, and test prep. And this one is huge. This one is the basics of critical thinking for grades four through nine. This is another thick book. This is language smarts level E, which is grade four. This one is level A mathematical reasoning, and this is grade K. And last up is science mind menders, animals grade pre-K through second. So I basically told them like this, these are my kids' ages. Send me what like is popular, what is great. So I'm really excited to flip through a lot of these and kind of share them with you guys. So don't forget, I have one video specifically on word roots that I'll actually be giving away one of the word roots. And then I'm gonna be doing another video on all of these that I've never seen before. I'm gonna go through them. I'm gonna give you my first thoughts, if I plan on using them, how I would use them in my homeschool and all of that. So. Don't forget, if you're not already, subscribe because those videos are coming out and you don't want to miss them. It's going to be crazy over here on YouTube if you're in the homeschool community because everyone's going to start posting curriculum hauls, curriculum picks. And so if you want to see my videos, make sure you're subscribed. If you want like text alerts or notification, you can hit the bell, whatever you got to do. So. That is all the packages I received over the last week. I hope you guys liked this video. If you have any questions, comments about anything I showed today, leave those down below. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.